from behind the North Korean curtain. The ruling party presents a solid wall of support. A kind of coronation for the country's leader, Kim Jong-un, a celebration of his policy. Thousands of delegates from all across the country are now meeting inside, and for most of them, this will be the first meeting of its kind in their lifetime. And so it is, everyone says here, a very special occasion, but still a workday. Familiar and mechanical, and yet extraordinary. The ruling party of a reclusive country convening its highest authority after such a long hiatus. Government guides led dozens of foreign journalists to the venue where the Congress was being held. But this is as close as we got. And so it became a chance for unscripted glimpses of Pyongyang residents, whose answers still somehow seem scripted. I'm the new generation, born and raised under the care of our party and Kim Jong-un, she says. This is his first Congress as leader, so it's more meaningful for us, she says. Kim, who is believed to be 33, said the Congress comes in a year when the military and the people accomplished great success. That's in reference to a satellite launch and the latest nuclear test. It's a country that's very proud of its nuclear industry that has a history that apparently started in this very spot almost 70 years ago. It was then that the country's founder ordered the building of a munitions factory and later returned to test the first rifle made in North Korea. According to the tour guide, his encouragement helped build an armament industry that later led to its nuclear know-how. Such a tour at a time like this, a reminder, perhaps, that any suggestion the ruling party is about to change its nuclear policy is probably misguided. For the historic Congress, state media called the satellite launch and the nuclear tests, quote, the greatest gifts. Nalayed, CBC News, Pyongyang.